Hi everyone, it's me Teresa here with Be Prepared to Cook with Teresa and Pampered Chef. And today I'm going to show you how to sous vide. I know, I had no idea what it was either until I started with Pampered Chef. Basically, it's cooking slow and evenly at a constant temperature in a vacuum sealed bag. But our new multi cooker which is taking the place of our quick cooker and adding several more exciting settings is, has a setting for sous vide. Um, some other features I really like are the fact that when you have your lid, we now have a lid rest on both sides. And, which I really like. So with sous vide, it basically will be cooking in a temperature controlled water bath. So with the setting, the first thing we wanna do is um, add water and get that heated to the right temperature. So tonight I'm gonna to be making steaks. I love steaks and I think I'm a really excellent steak cooker. I love using our Deluxe Electric Grill and Griddle. I also do great in our cast iron. So this is another type of cooking that professional chefs use. What it does is I'll set the temperature for 135 and it will heat up the water. About 12 cups of water in here. There's a line marked inside that tells you how full to get it. And then you're just going to set it on the sous vide. Setting. I'm gonna do 135 because I like my steaks medium rare. And go for two hours. That's the other thing, is that sous vide cooking is a slow process so it cooks through the whole meat at the exact temperature so you don't have those parts that are really well done on the edges while your middle's still cold this will cook slowly over the two hours and will um will give us the tenderest most juicy steaks you've ever had so what I did is while I'm waiting for the water to heat, I've just salt and peppered my steaks. I'm going to seal them in our new reusable bags. And you just put it in with what you want to cook it with. I made some garlic herb butter with just mixing some of our garlic herb rub with some butter. And so I'm going to seal those in and I'll be back when I show you how I put them in the bath. So when you put your meat in your bags, you wanna press out as much air as possible and seal them in so that it's in there without any air. You can also use Ziploc bags. You can use um, the food sealing bag machine if you have that. The key is to get out as much air as possible and seal that meat or vegetables or fish, whatever you're cooking, in the bag. So, while the water's heating, I'll show you some more features on our new multi-cooker. As you can see, it says run because it is preheating my water. This is new. It is a little dial clock that will show you the progress of what you're cooking. Now we have 16 settings. Custom, sear. Now to the sear, we've added different temperatures, so you can um, sear at three different temperatures. An egg cooking, an egg setting, poultry, beef and pork, seafood, rice, grains. You can make soups, beans, even cook desserts, steam vegetables. Use it as a slow cooker when you've replaced the lid with a glass available glass lid. 
coarse weed we talked about and make homemade yogurt and even sterilize the baby bottles and the such. The other difference we have is here is our steam release. And on the quick cooker, the release was here giving you space, but now we've made the release here. So it's even safer keeping you distant from that hot steam. Okay, so the, the multi-cooker just beeped to tell me that the water is heated to 135 and that's what I want it. I have my meat sealed in the bag. And you want the meat to be totally submerged in here with the seal above the water. And that's it. I'm gonna put this in. It's going to run for a couple hours, and then we're gonna try our juicy sous vide steak. Um, my timer has gone off. It's been two hours. I took my bag out of the sous vide, mm, smells really good. And we just are going to sear it for a couple minutes on each side, just to lock in some of that flavor and give it a little texture. So basically, the um, meat has cooked through all even. And it's all juices and in that little bit of garlic butter. But they look really good and they smell delicious. Can't wait to taste it. And a nice little sear on my steak. <laughs> Let's see how easily it cuts. Oh man. It does cut super easy. Mm, nice medium rare, how I like it. Can you see that? Mm. The juice is all seasoned. some pretty good steak. Mm. Do you see? Tender. Picked evenly all the way through. Just how I like it. Sous vide steak. You've sold me. Happy cooking.